Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marte. I come from Norway and I love makeup and today I'm super excited to be showing you guys another custom palette that I made with my Divina shadows because it's fall and they have so many appropriate shades for fall in their selection, I guess I could say. Um, so this is my palette and I did also do some swatches of it. So I'm just going to show you those right now and put some music over and of course list all of the names of the shadows on the screen. So that is my whole palette swatched out and I personally just love 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 this color story. I just think it's so fall and Halloween appropriate and these shimmers you guys, oh, I cannot stop staring at them, they're so so beautiful. But I also wanted to show you guys right now because a lot of you know that I just got a puppy and I'm filming this the 3rd of October, I think I'm saying that later as well but <laughs> uh, I'm filming this the 3rd of October and we've had my puppy for a week now and me and my boyfriend we are just so so excited to have him he's the sweetest little thing and he's just sleeping in his crate now he's been sleeping for quite some time so i think i want to wake him up so that he's not going to be crazy when my boyfriend comes home from work uh, so he can also have some time to relax but i'm just going to go and wash off my swatches and i'm going to get him and show you guys <laughs> so here we have a little luke so <laughs> He just woke up from his nap, so he's quite tired. And he missed his mommy. <laughs> so he's just the cutest little boy. <laughs> so I just wanted to show him to you guys so you can see how adorable he is. Yeah. <laughs> but now let's get going and I will show you how I did this look right here with my custom palette. <laughs> so I already filmed, but <laughs> of course I forgot to put on my microphone but what I decided for was some purple and green so I already did this eye because um, I actually had some problems with this eye using the Kaleidos tone activator as a base because it was looking super patchy and then I also tried on this eye right here with NARS and that also didn't work so I took it all away and then I just tried again with my Urban Decay primer which is the driest primer that I have and that worked really nicely I feel like so I just used the purple, the green and the yellow so that is Virago, Saudade and Anastasia and I guess I can just speed through and show you how I do that on my right eye as well <laughs> So I'm just going to start with Virago in my outer corner and actually I don't think I'm going to speed through this just because I wanted to talk a little bit with you guys because uh, I'm filming this the 3rd of October, it's a Saturday and it's been a little bit more than a week since we got our little puppy. We have gotten an Italian Greyhound, a blue Italian Greyhound called Luke. <laughs> He's named after Luke Skywalker in Star Wars actually and we've just been really busy with taking care of him, getting to know him, play with him, train with him and just enjoying the time. 
because like I've been wanting a dog since I was a little kid and finally my dreams came true and I have this like the cutest little puppy in the world and a lot of you have been asking me how it's going and it's going great he's just the best little dog he's almost like I wouldn't say he's potty trained but we use like training pads for him and he always goes on the training pads uh, if he's not on the training pads it's because the training pads is in the puppy pen and we don't have a door to it <laughs> so he might sometimes go right outside the puppy pen instead if he's not able to go inside the puppy pen and that is our fault so he's just amazing and he's so he's just so cute and so calm and he's actually lying in his crate right now sleeping <laughs> so he's probably going to wake up before I'm done filming so I'll give you a little peek of him then because he's just so adorable <laughs> but obviously I have not been able to do my makeup or film when we have been busy with him so it feels really good to be able to film again and especially this color story was just calling my name <laughs> so I just really wanted to play with it I swear this green right here is so so pigmented <laughs> so now I'm just using the shade Anastasia right here as sort of like a transition just because especially here it didn't blend the best, the green, but here it actually did blend good. So maybe it's just important to wait a little bit before you apply the shadows and let the Urban Decay Primer dry a little bit. Also this one is like super powdery, so I have not used this alone in a look. So I don't know how this one, this yellow, would look alone. But as you could see, like the green is super, super opaque. So. Even though the Divina shadows, they are not like my favorite formula because it can be a little bit tricky. But once you get the hang of it, you can make some amazing looks with them because the colors are just so unique and beautiful. <laughs> it's like one of my favorite brands like color-wise. And of course their shimmers are just so, so beautiful. Some of my favorites. I'm just going back in with a little bit of that green just to work a tiny bit on the blend, but as usual, I'm going to cover up most of this with my crease or my lid shade and cover up the crease anyway, so it's not like a huge of a deal. So I think I'm relatively happy with this. I'm just going to go ahead and put some of my BH Cosmetics Face Booster all over my lids and we'll get going with the shimmers. So now I put my glitter glue on and I'm just going to go in with Moonlit as my inner corner shade. So I did put glitter glue there as well, so I'll just be packing that down right on top there also want it just like in the inner corner right there and I'm going to blend it into oh, I haven't really decided like should I use um, Centaurus because that has like a bronze to lime green shift you can't really see it in this lighting but then this one is just so stunning with Virago oh it's so hard you know what, I would prefer this one, but I have not yet used Centaurus, so I'm going to go ahead and use that because it's a stunning shade and I think it will look really good in this look. So I'm just going to start patting that on. As usual, I'm just trying to like really work it into the glitter primer just to avoid fallout during the day and to make sure it's opaque and nice. And I do really like how this is looking. It's looking really pretty. So I'm going to do the same with my other eye, do all my face makeup, and then we'll go on to the lower lash line. Okay, so I just powdered underneath my eye, but I haven't done anything else than my foundation and concealer and powder under my eyes right now. Uh, so I'm just going to do my lower lash line, and I think I wanna go in with the orange now. I think it's Navia. Yeah, I don't really know how to pronounce this as usual, but Naivia, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just going to pack that on my lower lash line and I'm not sure, maybe I'll go in with Cygnus actually, this purpley, beautiful shimmer. I just put a bunch of glitter glue on my lower lash line and I'm just going to see how Cygnus will look because it's like a purple to orange shifter and I think that would connect really nicely with the upper part of my eyes. Yeah, I really like that. So I'm just going to finish off my makeup, like my brows and all that kind of boring stuff <laughs> and then I'll show you the close-up of this look. So 
So that is my finished look and I personally just love this color story so much as I said in the beginning of the video and yeah, I just love the Vina shadows. It was so interesting that they worked so much better on my Urban Decay primer. It's like they're so much better on this uh, primer than the other two that I tried and yeah, it's really good to know that I can make them work on this primer because then I will just use this primer for every time I use my Divina shadow, so that's really great. Um, for the rest of my face, I did end up using my, uh, what is the brand? Guerlain Burn Chocolate Lip Liner, it's like my favorite. And then I used my NYX Push Up Lingerie in Seduction, which has been like all, one of my all-time favorite colors, this one and Exotic, but I had them in the normal liquid lipstick before, but I prefer this formula because it's a little bit more, I don't know, it's just a little bit more comfortable, I guess. And for my face makeup, I used my Jua Duo Blush, no, bronzer in uh, Sunlight and Suntan, I think it's called, and my BH Cosmetics Peach Bellini palette, Life's a Peach, on my cheek for blush, and I ended up using my Ray Rider the Reformulator one from Kaleidos Makeup just because I think it's the perfect like champagne -y, neutral highlighter for me. <laughs> uh, this one I was sent in PR though. I do think that's it for this video though, so thank you so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in my next one. Bye!